the type of work, it is quite physically demanding and also a challenge for us is that we really only attract workers for two to three months of the year. Michael Crisera from Fruit Growers Victoria says finding people to pick the fruit is one of the industry's biggest concerns and costs. Labour costs will probably make up 6% of our growing costs, to be honest, it's, it's huge. It's the main cost in our industry. While some pay workers by an hourly rate, he says the majority of growers here are paying pickers according to how much fruit they harvest, paying by what's called the piece rate. For example, in our game, in the fruit game, you know, we'll pay around the $50 a bin for them to get it off. Um, and, then, and then that, you know, over the day, depending on how many bins they pick, that's how much they get paid. Growers like knowing a fixed cost and say it incentivises pickers to work harder. The Cobbleton picker would probably average around the $250 a day sort of thing, around $250 to $300 sometimes. Really good pickers can pick up and you know, make up around the $400 a day. When Isaiah started picking, it was hard going. I got sore with my muscle. Now in his fourth year in Australia, he finds the fruit comes faster. It depends on good fruit. When uh, more crops, I pick 10 or 8 beans a day using a cherry beaker. The jobs allowed him to buy a taxi and build a home for his mum back in Samoa. I like this job. When I got experience, yeah, it's easy for us. But that's not everyone's experience. Peace rates are commonly used in crops that can't be mechanically harvested. Things like citrus, berries and mangoes. We've seen countless examples of exploitation right across our growing regions of workers, not just overseas workers working on our different visa programs, but local workers as well. Following a union-led appeal, the Fair Work Commission ruled that peace rates aren't working. So the rules are changing. From April 28, horticultural workers must be guaranteed a minimum hourly wage, no matter how much produce they pick. For casuals, that's about $25 an hour. Workers can still earn a piece rate as an incentive. The average competent worker must be allowed to earn 15% above the hourly rate. That's roughly $30 an hour. The clear requirement that all workers must be paid a minimum provides an enforceable standard. The issue is that we need regulators to enforce and to ensure that no one can operate how they like, that they are in fact operating consistent with the law. The implications for the decision are far reaching for those employers who haven't been paying well. For those employers who have been paying well, it pushes the average hourly rate or the expectation under peace rate to $30 an hour which in anyone's, you know, language is a lot of money for picking fruit. We're going to have to ensure that those slower workers, and they might be slower workers for lots of different reasons, um, who were happy to come along on farm and get paid what would be less than the minimum hourly wage. Essentially, a farmer is going to have to make the decision now as to whether or not they accept, you know, that worker on the farm uh, because it is going to simply be costing them more. Here on Emma Germano's Gippsland farm, the workers picking cauliflower are paid an hourly rate. But whether it's hourly or piece rate, she says shouldn't really matter. Back at Emma Germano's farm, she says growers are still confused about the new laws and many are seeking clarity. It's particularly stressful for those businesses that will be mid-harvest when the rules change. But she is also hopeful that the peace rates issue could be the catalyst for a broader conversation.